Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about mushrooms. Do you like mushrooms? Comment below if you like them. I love mushrooms. Um, but mushrooms are not a plant, they're not a vegetable. They're actually a fungus, okay? And it's a myth that consuming a fungus will give you a fungus. That's not how it works. Normally, in our gastrointestinal tract, we have friendly funguses. We have friendly yeast. We have friendly bacteria that counter the unfriendly. And so when you lose those microbes, your body can then grow and have an overgrowth of uh, fungus on the toenail and different parts of your body. But you're not gonna actually have to worry about getting a fungus if you eat mushrooms, okay? There are certain types of, we can't call them phytonutrients, plant-based nutrients anymore. We have to call them maybe a fungus nutrients. There are certain nutrients that are really good for various things, inflammation, uh, anti-cancer, and insulin resistance, beta-glucans great for insulin resistance, which is exactly what we're trying to do when we do keto and intermittent fasting. So anti-cancer properties with different types of mushrooms. Did you realize that there's more potassium in one cup of mushrooms than there is in one banana? 350 milligrams, uh, about three grams of protein. I mean, not really high, not too low. Um, in one cup, there's two carbs, okay? But don't worry about it turning into sugar very fast because it's not going to. It's a very low glycemic food. Um, B2, lots of vitamin B2, vitamin B3, and B5, which is exactly what you need to do when you go through keto adaptation. That's when you need to prevent keto fatigue. Uh, vitamin D, which is fascinating. Uh, choline, which is good for the liver, a fatty liver. It's, it's a type of B vitamin that strips off fat from the liver and helps build up certain types of chemicals in the body for concentration, focus, and like brain energy. Uh, iron and selenium, which is also really good for the liver, uh, good for the thyroid, and good as an anti-cancer. So um, definitely start consuming more mushrooms in your diet. Add some garlic and onion, saute them. Okay, thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I want to actually hear about your success story. I want to see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.